dozens of people have been killed and scores injured in clashes in Bangladesh on Sunday as the police fired tear gas and lobbed stun, uh, stun grenades to disperse tens of thousands of protesters calling for Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to resign there. What exactly went down? Let's take a quick look at this particular ground report that's come in describing the situation as to how things unfolded. Dozens of people have been killed and scores were injured in clashes in Bangladesh on Sunday. Police fired tear gas and lobbed stun grenades as tens of thousands of protesters took to the streets, calling for Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to resign. All the ministers are in hiding. Wait and see how the people will go and surround the Prime Minister's house. If Sheikh Hasina doesn't resign voluntarily, we will take our next step. The Interior Ministry declared an indefinite nationwide curfew starting at 6 p.m. local time on Sunday. It's the first time it has taken such a step during the current protests, which began last month. The unrest is the government's biggest test since deadly protests erupted after Hasina won a fourth straight term in January elections that were boycotted by the main opposition Bangladesh Nationalist Party. Critics of Hasina, along with human rights groups, have accused her government of using excessive force to stamp out the movement, a charge she and her ministers deny. Demonstrators blocked major highways on Sunday as student protesters launched a non-cooperation program to press for the government's resignation. After a national security panel meeting, Hasina said those protesting were, quote, not students but terrorists who are out to destabilize the nation. For the second time during the recent protests, the government shut down high-speed internet services, mobile operators said. Some social media platforms were also unavailable. Last month, at least 150 people were killed and thousands more were injured and arrested in violence sparked by demonstrations led by student groups protesting against quotas for government jobs. The protests paused after the Supreme Court scrapped most quotas. But students sporadically returned to the streets last week, demanding justice for the families of those killed.